all right so what is going on today youtube and we're just going to do a quick market watch well as quick as i can get through it um now i was you know i, I did say that i was going to start doing it on monday but something really caught my eye and i feel like you know what i shouldn't wait till monday so we're going to just do one today so the thing that caught my eye was this now i don't know if anybody's been reporting on this uh from the market watches i've been watching i haven't seen anybody say anything about this car but look at this motherfucker it's 22 goddamn dollars uh, Amazon is queen of super rare from dual rev dual D rev is 22 fucking dollars. I have no clue why it is, but I understand they are getting some, some more support. So I guess that can be the reason, but damn, look, the market price is $7. So it seems like somebody just went and bought them out or they, they, they rose. Now, like I said, I haven't seen anybody else talk about them. So it, it kind of makes me think that, you know, somebody did buy them out and just ro rose the price up because as you can see, uh, the normal price is seven bucks and it was still a decent super rare, but I mean, damn 22 bucks. And that's for a light plate. The, the near mints are $25. And as you can see, we can go to what's the name. We can go to, uh, we can go to eBay and eBay, you know, this $20. So it's like, damn, that's a $20 card. If you, you know, have these sitting around and I've seen these plenty of like one, $2 binders. And like, if you guys can, before you go to the locals, I know some locals start at two, some locals start at, uh, uh actually, you know, but if it's already one o'clock, you're not going to be able to see this. But like I said, man, if, if you guys can find some Amazon as Queens, there are $20, which is crazy. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to talk about that first to get that out there. But what we're going to be doing is looking at the top most, uh, the top 100 most expensive cards um, according to Yu-Gi-Oh! prices. So if you guys have not seen this before from my channel, um, I use Yu-Gi-Oh! prices because this is, you know, this is usually what I usually use to find my card. So uh, might as well, you know, help you guys out too. So here we go. Starting off, Dragonic Diagram and Ash Blossom. Look at that. Now, this is probably going to be sold by time we even, uh, what's the name? But by the time we even go on uh, eBay right now, it's probably already gone. No, it's still there. There's two available for 70, the hot price of $75. Now, when I did do it on Monday, Diagram was around 90 bucks. So you guys are saving 15. As you can see, some people are starting to undercut um, the actual price. And as you can see, the, it's slowly going down. From a week ago, it went down 1%. Uh, actually around two percent it's went down since the last 30 days it's been down 10 percent. so this card is slowly going down slowly going down but i would only say that the reason that this is happening is because Yu-Gi-Oh is going to be on a break pretty much because after nationals there's no regionals there's no ycs's there's nothing you just got to wait until worlds and if you don't you know win nationals or get top six or some shit like that then you're not going to world so a lot of cards are going to start slowly going down and then also it's about to be the end uh, is, uh what's the name a, a new ban list is going to i mean a new ban list is going to take effect so a lot of cards are going to go down as of right now this did not load so we're going to have to go back and try to do that again but if you guys can hurry up and catch your gigantic diagram 75 a piece so if you guys do need them before you go to nationals or before you go to your last tournament or some shit like that there you go they're at 75 and so let's see let's try let's try to go back to ash blossom again here we go it is now working and as you can see um uh they're down to 60 bucks now once again what a week ago this is down three percent since a week ago i believe these were around 70 about a week ago i would say if, if, if I, I don't really remember at the point, but they, they were about a week ago, but you see people are just starting to undercut the price and making it go down and down and down and down. So as you can see, there's uh, two available. I mean, there's uh, two available for the low price of $60. There's four actually available from this seller right here. 99.2% um, positive feedback. So it doesn't look like you're going to be gypped. So you can buy it right now for 60 bucks if you can catch it because two people are viewing it and they might be gone by time. You guys actually see this video and stuff like that. And so if we keep going, a card that I'll always look at when I see this is Cypher and Lord Omega because this card is just amazing. It, it, it's, it's, it's probably the best synchro, um, I would say. Yeah, it has to be. Uh, I mean, no, I don't know. It, it can be the best synchro ever made. It's possible um, if we were doing that. But as you can see, it's going down. Like it did, look, it did jump three days ago. But then, like, look, it, it's been going down steadily. One year ago, you know, the, it was, you know, 20%, um, uh, what's the name, M more expensive. It was, it was, damn it, I don't even know how, what the fuck was I about to say? Well, it was 20% higher a year ago 
six months ago it's been down two percent since two two months ago um as you can see three months ago it's steadily going down but it did three weeks ago it did jump and then it went back down jumped again and then went back down over the past day but as you can see they're getting listed lower and lower and lower and lower and this card is probably gonna be 30 bucks now 30 bucks I, I could see people picking it up because I might go pick myself up some more because I just sold mine again because, you know, it did do that jump. When it did a jump, I sold it. And then, you know what? Um, I, I wasn't going to play zombies for the meantime, but you know what? I can't, I can't argue with Omega being at like 30 bucks. So you may have to go pick those up before they jump. Cause once again, I'm trying to tell you guys link format, Omega is still going to be good. The Omega is not going to be a bad card. And then when people figure that out, it's going to skyrocket back again, unless it gets reprinted. And it depends on how it gets reprinted. Because if it gets put in the Mega 10 as a secret, then that, I mean, it's still going to be a fucking expensive card. So if this card goes down to 30, it may go down to 25. I don't know. It's looking like it's just going to keep going down, but it's going to take a minute to go down. It all, once again, it all depends on what happens at nationals and worlds because at worlds, there's a whole different ban list. So, you know, you might not, you're not going to be able to play with the Zodiac shit. So you never know what somebody might come up there with because they're always taking random decks to go play. Um, Chris, Chris Wing is going down. There's no reason to get this. It's getting reprinted. Wait for that. See how that goes. Stuff like that. You might as well wait. Dimensional Barriers at 30 still. Um, what else? Sphere Mode at 25. Sage is still at 25. Desires just went down two bucks, I believe. Because I believe it was twenty five dollars, and Skull is at twenty two. Even though it is getting reprinted, um, it, it I, I I wouldn't buy that twenty two. But oh my god, there is even one for twenty bucks. Is this real or is this fake or is this with the thing? Uh, no, see, yeah, it was fake. It was twenty three. What's the name? Twenty three twenty. Um, the lowest tw uh, twenty three dollars for a fucking secret rare pot of desires. Wow. Um, I understand it's getting reprinted, but um I, I don't know maybe if it gets down to 15 dollars, i'm probably going to pick some up because this card is still good i i mean a lot of people don't play it but this mother um, when people realize it's, it's still a plus two just because it's getting reprinted does not mean it's not a plus two actually i think if it's coming in a 10 no because desires i mean not desires but pot of duale was still expensive when fucking it, it got reprinted as a super so if you guys think this card is you know is just going to be all of a sudden just oh nobody's going to want to get the secret rares um you you guys should probably pick some up if you can find some trade for some i definitely would do it unless it's getting like a common reprint then it i mean then you just gotta work with that um cosmic cyclone is getting re a reprint so uh probably hold off on those not probably but you should um abyss tears now i do have a video going up on tuesday i believe um, of mermails it's either monday or tuesday I, i'm going to try to hold it off for tuesday but if it does go up on monday you guys know what i'm talking about but this deck i really believe is going to be one of the top tier decks when link summoning comes out because it doesn't need the mechanic now a lot of decks are going to take a hit because some you know they're going to need they're going to need to use the mechanic to function but this that this card i mean this deck right here mermails they they, they can do some shit they can put up a lot of damage and don't and just think about this you're giving you're giving everybody an extra potentially two monster zones so i mean that's if you use the link shit and link it all the way over but you're giving mermel six monsters to fuck with that's all that's always the problem and i understand norton has got hit and it is good the deck is going to go down but then when link summoning come out and then when people decide hey you know this this deck is good they're going to be playing it. This card is going to, I mean, these cards are going to go up. Uh, so, I mean, if you can't get a Mermel deck for probably a hundred bucks, I would say do it. That's definitely a good investment. Um, I always look at Dark Arm because I do want to buy it. Solemn Strike is still 20. Still fucking 20. Um, but it is getting a reprint. So, I mean, but once again, it, I don't know. Is it confirmed? You guys let me know. Is it confirmed to come out here? Or is it another one of them Utopia things where... <laughs> They say it's going to be reprinted out here, and then it never, I mean, it gets reprinted in, like, Europe or some shit. So, um, I always look at Dark Arm because, like I said, it's my favorite card. Look at this. Set, secret, a secret rare Dark Arm is still 20 bucks. That should tell you how fucking valuable this card is. The ultimate rare is uh, 52. Uh, that kind of sucks. But, hey, I, I, I want to pick one of those up. I'm waiting to, but if it gets to $15, I don't know why $15 is like my price point, but when it gets to around $15, I'm going to have to go ahead and pick me up probably 
two of them. I, I don't know. I might get three just for the fuck of it. I already have a, a, a secret dark arm, but it's fucked up. But um, st- I, I still wanted to get this. It's still my favorite card. I still want to at least try to force it and play it in some shit. Um, totally awesome to that 20. Um, this card is most likely going to get reprinted in the Mega 10. So if you guys aren't, you don't have these, you, you can wait. Uh, like I said, I was talking about Amazon is Queen already. Invocations at 20, which is, I don't under, this deck really never popped off. That really sucks. And then, um, high speed. Wow, this is 20 bucks? Never knew that. That That is, that is easy. Look at this. Spell books are going up. I don't know what's, why is it just, <laughs> uh, see, some people just do dumb shit, man. Um, bills, like I said, is going back down 17, <laughs> 18 bucks. Um, I, I would, you know, I, I expect this card probably to be, I'm surprised it's going down so fast though, because before it just held its value, but now they're just okay. Somebody just undercut it the price. So what? They're, they're he's selling it for eighteen bucks. Let's see if uh, yeah, he's selling it for eighteen bucks. So I mean, if you guys do need a bills, yeah, it's eighteen bucks. You ain't got to spend nineteen. That's a dollar you can save. Uh, let's see what else. Like I said, Pot of Duvali is a secret rare from D Rev, and that shit still holds seventeen bucks. So like I said, if you if you guys think I mean desires hit twenty, I might pick them. But like I said, the, the, my desire now actually, what did I say it was twenty? No, yeah. If I say if it's twenty, I'm going to pick like at least two up because that's that's just ridiculous. That card is still amazing and it's relevant to the format. It's not really relevant, but it's it you can play it pretty much. I w- I would say that you can play it. Um, Abyss Megalo is still tw- eighteen bucks. Apex Avion, which is going to see a jump because of uh, what's the name. They're going to see a, it's going to see a jump because the pendulums are going to be able to be played for I guess two weeks or some shit like that. So so uh, I definitely wouldn't pick it up. I don't think it's going to last. But with the new link rules, do art the new link rules, um, pendulums are going to be severely nerfed. So I don't think you should pick anything pendulum related up uh, unless you get unless you plan on this these next two weeks going to every local you can every tournament you can and just trying to win that's the only way i i can advise you guys picking up pendulum stuff um and then the rest of the stuff sanctums are 15 bucks i get that's still it's still a good card scythe is still amazing so if this does hit 10 pick them up immediately because like artifacts are always been played moral tech may get a bump up to three you never know konami does do weird shit but artifact sanctum at 10 bucks fine good steal um broad bull is still 15 this card right here is a, a, a real good tar- a real good card i do want to talk about this card is going to jump it's going to sky if it does not get reprinted because it's only been printed once if this card does not get reprinted if this it's only 12 dollars right now hold on time out. let's see if this is real i may have to pick some up i may have to pick some up as we speak because that that's how much invested I am in this card. I really believe this card is going to skyrocket. Let's see. Is this 12 bucks? Uh let's see. Come on, man. Look, what is going on today? 13 bucks. Okay, 14 bucks. Um, hmm. I'm gonna wait a little longer. Let's see. It's been going down. It's been going down. I'm probably gonna if it hits ten dollars, pick these up immediately. Pick three copies up. Spend thirty dollars because it's going to triple to probably you're probably gonna make three or four times your money back. Because you guys gotta realize link monsters, there's only gonna be three. I think I think three or two. It's only gonna be like a little bit released for like the first month, I guess. And then like think about it. Everybody's gonna be playing the same exact link monsters. You got Ghost Reaper. Bam. You can as soon as they summon a monster, bam. You know what I mean? Hit them, get rid of now they can't they can't even use Link Summon. <laughs> like you can only either they're literally locked to one extra deck for the rest of the game because you didn't hit everything else out. So this card right here, I really believe you should definitely pick up. I'm definitely gonna invest in these. I'm going to wait one more week to see what happens to the price. If it goes down a little longer i mean if it goes down to like 10 or 11 bucks i'm just going to go ahead and bite the bullet and go buy it it's still a good it's still a good price to buy it at 13 right now there's no really real reason to wait but like i said you never know because if it goes down to 10 you're saving yourself pretty much 10 bucks so that is good if you do are buying the playset but definitely look out for this card this card is definitely gonna i really feel like this card is just gonna go all the way to the fucking top because like i said for the first couple of weeks this card right here is is going to be fucking ridiculous. Um, Macaba, 
I mean, it's sad what's happened to Invoke. They're really supposed to do something, at least counteract the meta. But just like in Japan, the deck never really worked out here. Different Dimension Ground is still a good card, I guess. Um, that's pretty good. Um, Seraph Knight, 12 bucks. Burn Infusions are like 10 bucks too, which is crazy. Um, but hey, that card is coming out. And then, yeah, the rest of it is really nothing else. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hope it, this was informative. Once again, Amazon is Queen is $20 fucking dollars for absolutely no reason. I know I got about 10 of them. I'm definitely going to start trying to sell them <laughs> because that shit is ridiculous. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you guys did, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you have not already. And if you guys can, click on that to help support the channel. Thank you guys for watching.